Well, it's a new segment, and it's something I've been talking about for a while, and we're finally doing it. You see, um, I am a big fan of crusty <laughs> YouTube videos that's recorded in like 2022, yet the videos look like they were recorded in 2003. Right? Um, something happens with people's telephones. <laughs> telephones. <laughs> For the quality is just so bad. And it adds a mystique to everything, right? But ladies and gentlemen, this is the spooky YouTube video night. You guys have sent in a bunch of spooky videos for me to watch. This week will be Duende. Duende is, uh, <laughs> well, quite frankly, I'm gonna show you what Duende is all about. A Duende is a humanoid figure of folklore with variations from Iberian, Iberian-American, and Filipino cultures, comparable to dwarfs, gnomes, or leprechauns. In Spanish, Duende originated as a contraction of the phrase Dueno de Casa or Duende de Casa, effectively master of the house. But this is where it gets very interesting. Cultures given its comparable looks with the tomte of the Swedish language. Conceptualize a mischievous spirit inhabiting a dwelling. That means, ladies and gentlemen, that this whole phenomenon of duendes ties in with the Swedish tomte. And the Swedish Santa Claus is the tomte. This used to be our Santa Claus. And it's a little tiny little man. The obvious question is, is Swedish Santa a duende? I don't know. There's a lot here. Look, look at all these variations, man. Trascos. Trascos are among the most hated of duendes. They're mischievous creatures. They love to enter people's homes through chimneys and live within the hidden space of a home. They may turn good boys into mischievous ones. Boys who are improperly raised may even become Trascos themselves. Yeah, that just sounds like friend. In the Hispanic folklore of Mexico and the American Southwest, duendes are known as gnome-like creatures who live inside the walls of homes, especially in the bedroom walls of junk children. That's terrifying. Yeah. They attempt to clip the toenails of unkept children. What? <laughs> Often leading to the mistaken removal of entire toes. <laughs> what? What are you saying, man? <laughs> what? In the Mariana Islands, is a goblin, elf, ghost, or spook in the form of a dwarf, a mischievous spirit which hides or takes small children. So they're kind of creepy, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll like take your baby and go, <coughs> and go away, right? And in some folklores, those children may lose their toes or they might even turn into uh, duendes themselves. <coughs> You've all sent these in. The next video we have here is the classic. This is the video that started this whole phenomenon. This video is the one that made Duende videos into what it is today. This is the video that I refer to as, there's a garden gnome out there that keeps skadoodling across a field. Everybody knows this video. If you're one of the people that haven't seen this, this started it all, okay? Archivos Sinistrus. First of all, I'm gonna say this. This video added a lot because this was really shot in like 2006 or seven. This was a flip phone, you know? So you can't, you can't fault it for like having bad FPS. But there was something about how this was shot that's made this kind of like quote unquote real, you know? Because everybody saw this video like, what the fuck is that, you know? Wait a minute, there's a noise! And then suddenly, out of nowhere, there's a fucking duende standing over there. And they're probably wondering, like, what the fuck is that? What's that little guy? But then, it's no longer a garden gnome. It's not a traffic cone. It's a toe stealing duende. <laughs> okay, he's moving, he's going around, he's shuffling. <laughs> they're so shocked by what they're seeing that they start fucking throwing up in fear, okay? This little garden no man has caused the, the, these two dudes, fail and go... <gasps> All right, they're th throwing up in fear. <laughs> okay, uh, that's true horror, right? That is true horror, okay.
what my favorite part about this is that this is a friendly duende, all right? This friendly duende has the hat on, and I forgot which category it was in, but uh, this duende might be the one that's just like, hey, I'm gonna come, like, pay your bills, or, like, make you a pie or something. Because he's waving at him. He's like, look. Hello. And they start throwing up. Imagine being a mystical creature that's been, you know, sleeping in a tree for 8,000 years. You come out, you see some strangers, and you want to say hello. He's like, and then suddenly, like, you would crawl back in that tree and say, fuck this, <laughs> fuck this. It's David the Garden Gnome. Apparently, in this video, in this video, one of the dudes, one of the dudes filming says, it's a penguin. What the fuck? Where the fuck uh, do you see a wild penguin just be knocking about? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's hysterical. Oh my god. We have a video here up ahead that may give us some more insight into this whole phenomenon because this one is just called Duendes Exist. <laughs> Fuck am I looking at? <laughs> okay, so this might be Duende from Iran. This better not be a little monkey, okay? Because that certainly moves like a little monkey. But hey, real video. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> He's fleeing! Oh fuck, what's this? Okay, that, that, that is 100% duende, okay? <laughs> what, what, what am I looking at? What, what's happening? Uh, <laughs> this right here is this. Okay, what's, what's this music? <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what am I looking at? Is that Bigfoot? Is that the face of Duende? Okay, something about... Okay, okay, what's this? <gasps> Duende in the box! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I was just talking about this! Holy shit! Look! Duende in the box! They have a live Duende here and Duende hates this! Duende hates being picked up! He's going... Okay. There's <laughs> something with his hands that, like, just screams this. It put him back. He hates the. <laughs> it looks like he's got little like diving flippers. Or something. Yeah, put him back. Put him back. <laughs> Go on Facebook. <laughs> What's this? What's this? It's a new video. <laughs> he grew up. Okay. <laughs> this little duende has come to the big duende. <laughs> Shame him. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna turn into me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have this. Oh, 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 This is a wild duende, okay? Damn, he's fast. I would never ever insinuate that this is somehow related. Of course not. <laughs> wait, wait, we might get a good view here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that is straight up. That is straight up the worst video. <laughs> Cause that is... That is a good... This is a monkey. No, no, these are vi real videos. There's a subspecies of duende, okay? Found in Iran. And it is coincidence that it moves and looks like a little boingy boof monkey, okay? This one is called Captain a un supuesto duende caminando en Salvador. So this is from El Salvador. Not sure, but this is on the news. La foto de un supuesto duende en El Salvador está causando revuelo en las redes. Ahí va a ver la imagen donde se aprecia a un ser diminuto. I'm sorry, is this a real video? I mean, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's that's just a baby. That's just Tim Burton's baby. Okay. Do you have a video or just a photo? That's it? That's it? Just a photo? You know what this looks like? Hang on. Um, this is just this, okay? He just escaped from the French circus, all right? This has nothing to do with Duende, okay? This is just a little, like, French little mime. You know, go... Me, 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 me. 
you know, escaping from, from, you know, <laughs> that's just a Frenchman. This one is half in English because this one is called Duendes and Noches Mexico. Elf spotted in Mexico. I can already tell it's going to be great because when a video uploaded, maybe not like super long ago, still it's just only like 114p. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. They're playing soccer in just a room. So if this duende comes around, steals the ball and runs away, that's totally what I understand from these videos. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, first of all, this is a, a, a jaw from Star Wars. Okay, so first of all, they're totally unsuspecting of this. The guy runs out, but he makes a noise too. <laughs> This guy, this guy right here, <laughs> is so shocked. He is shotgun onto the floor, crying because this duende went into the soccer match, and he is so obliterated by this Jawa coming along. <laughs> he's so crying on the floor. <laughs> you shouldn't be running after the duende, though. Right, they're probably calling from mom and dad. That's just a Star Wars guy. That's a little Star Wars guy. George Lucas. Okay. That might be George Lucas. You notice he It's just this noise. It's 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 this fucking noise. But if you really want to analyze this, uh I'm gonna say that this entire video, this is like their baby brother in <laughs> like a piece of like cloth okay, running around. <laughs> So is it probably fake? None of these videos are fake, okay? I'm gonna need to establish something for you guys. Every single one of these videos are like totally, totally real. Totally real, no fake, okay? That was pretty good. I, I enjoyed that one. But they were they were playing soccer inside the house, which I, I don't know if this is inside the house or just outside a little bit. But dude, I would have been more scared of my parents rather than the, the creepy toe stealing duende. Because if that soccer ball goes through a window. No mythological creature on the planet is gonna be as scary as my mom and dad yelling at me. That's fucking terrifying. Can we follow up with another classic? That's the question. Well, I think we can. So people are running. People are running from the duende? I know. No, no. No, no. <laughs> that duende is as big as a chicken nugget, all right? You cannot tell me that, like, fully grown men is getting the fuck out of here running. You would punt the fucking thing like a soccer ball, and he would just fly, okay? Okay, if this thing was, like, nine feet tall, I'd be fucking running too. But this... You wouldn't even get near him, don't act tough. Okay, well, for comparison, for comparison, you see, you see, you see, understand here? Okay, man... Duende. Okay, not that big. So theoretically, theoretically, right? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> what in the fuck is this? The Flash is now looking for Duendes. <laughs> now, I want to say that uh, this is a real video. But I'm a little skeptical when the Hulk shows up. I'm a little bit more skeptical when a clown shows up on the roof. The video ends. Guys, it's a real Duende video. That, that's a Duende. That's a Duende right there. Now, the scariest thing about this video is the fact that there is a clothespin here that looks special. We are closing in more and more to conclusive evidence here but i need to show you something here this is a duende home we have located where they live set up set up mandarin in your hand <laughs> duende like fruit okay duende like fruit okay they like mandarina now i know i know you guys are saying like th this could be a mole hole this could be anything this could be a hobbit hole for all, all everybody knows <laughs> 
Si He's made Pac-Man. Don't throw the whole thing out. No, no, no. You threw all the bait out. Pero what are you doing? Oh, now we, now we can survive the winter, man. What the hell? You just gave him like all the ammo. No, Joel, you misunderstand. It was a Donkey Kong 64 grenade. <gasps> at night. At night. Okay, here we go, here we go. And my main man over here has got a uranium counter. Uh, or like a Duende alert box. <laughs> the classic Texas instrument, Duende detector. Okay, okay, he's looking into, into the Duende hole. He might be coming out here. Guys, maybe if it's a Duende translator. Like, he'll, he'll speak into it, and it translates and goes... Into... And the Duende comes out and goes... <gasps> Guys, look at that! Activity! That was a duende in there! Oh fuck, it's going red, it's going red! Red alert, red alert! A 10, 12? That's off the scale! Oh yo yo! Holy shit, shut it down! Shut it down, run! Duende level's rising! Wait, it says something on there. Does that say spirit box? Spirit box. What the hell? You can buy this on Google? You can buy this for $121, and he's got this. Spirit box. ITC research device. But how does it work? Uh, well guys, I found a shop that sells these. It's a Spirit box SB7 is the latest EVP tool used by paranormal investigators around the world to try to communicate with, within quotation marks, the other side. And it says, how does the PSB7 Spirit box work? Spirit Box SB7T scans both the AM FM band, focusing on a set of frequency ranges where paranormal investigations have found the best EVP results. The SB7 has balanced frequency gain and noise reduction for greater clarity. Okay, um, this thing on this website is $300. Buy it. This is a top 10 real goblins caught on tape and spotted in real life. This guy is an expert. This is top 10 video world, okay? What is goblins? <laughs> Goblin is a monstrous creature first attempt. <laughs> what is goblins? <laughs> Goblin. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that caught me off guard. That's from Labyrinth. A goblin. That's a David Bowie movie. Real. Quiet! Here are top 10 real goblins caught on camera. Tree goblin. <laughs> In this video, goblin sighting clip was posted. This is a tree goblin. <laughs> and it appears to be using a wooden cane many commenters responded with skepticism claiming that uh -huh. the video is fake that's him he's got a big old nose but where, where's the cane? others claim to see the possible goblins what do you think about this video <laughs> there's a tree that's a th no it's a magical wise tree goblin in house <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, this is a Marcianito video, all right? This right here is not a duende, okay? And ran through a kitchen alongside yes! a toddler. The Interference, yeah. <laughs> The spooky creature left behind a nauseating smell and of course some terrifying footage on her camera. Okay, he nauseated smell, he farted. <laughs> yeah. Goblin caught in ground. What appears oh. to be a mysterious figure at the side. Oh, yo, yo, yo. The small dark shape crawls slowly forwards. What do you think about this video? Is it goblin or not? <laughs> Is it goblin or not? Donde? Please scream Duende. Duende! Goblin in room. <laughs> Immediately frightening the young boy. The image is so fleeting that that is straight up this. I mean, <laughs> unmistaken. Life Goblin has infested the boys' playroom. Yes, it exactly looked like Goblin. <laughs> infested with gobos. Look at him. He rises and he goes. You know, and <laughs> he rises and he goes. <laughs> Guys, that's a real video. That is a real video. Definitely. Goblin or child. I'm sorry, but whatever she says about <laughs> New segment. Goblin or child. In another video, That's Paul Blart. Station, a portly woman is seen carrying what appears to be a child. Uh -huh. This is revealed to be horrifyingly as hen. 
and colored a dark shade of green. What? With spock like pointy ears as a bonus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this parent carrying a real child? Or is this another worldly creature in the care of a Latin American bus traveler? That's Mr. Bean. <laughs> How fucking insulting. I mean, I mean, hey, real video? Are Goblin real? I'm gonna die. I'm gonna fucking die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna put a straw poll in chat. 83%. Massively dominating the polls here, presenting in fact that Goblin real, yeah. There's 16% skeptics out there, but I think I know where the gobos hide. This red thing right here, that pizza slice, that is what you gotta watch out for. Goblin on the road. In the video, <laughs> children were playing with a football on the road at night. It's a real video though, it's a real video, so, you know, um... He's running, he's running, he's running. If you like my video, don't forget like and subscribe my channel. I want to follow it up with this. This is a really, really crazy video. Oh, oi, oi, oi. A lot of these are European species of Duende. That's from, that's from the Garden No movie. This is a Brazilian song about smoking weed and seeing gnomes in Mars, just for context. Oh, fuck it is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Duende War. We have first contact. Obviously, these two guys are like, holy shit. Wild Duende, he just incited violencia. What is going to go happen? And they're saying... Oh. Duende was the first to throw words around them. But then the man uh, started firing the bullets. <laughs> Show the corpse! Show the corpse! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! That's real. That is real. Oh my god. Okay, guys, we have a real Duende corpse here. Okay, yeah. Barbecued with bullets. All I gotta say is, uh, that is, uh, that is what I'm talking about, you know, Duende Detectado, you know. Next time we do it, we'll do skeleton videos. Here's a preview.